hey there welcome back to coding stuff and in the previous part uh, we did a lot of stuff like it was confusing a bit and now in this part uh, we'll implement a rest of the stuff to implement the quiz fragment and yeah so we don't need to pass int i here like i thought previously uh, let me just delete this to do and also we don't need to pass i here so yeah what i thought uh, i would have to get the timer from the uh, list i would have to create another list for that but instead uh, we just collect the timer inside this load questions method and we use we create the timer as a member variable and then we use it over here so we don't need to pass the position here so yeah let me just minimize as we are done with the start timer method and also i'll minimize this one and yeah, also one thing uh, i copied this code from stack overflow this is just a circular progress bar which will rotate as the percentage and we need to make some changes in the this progress bar so you will get this code in the description box i will provide the link to get it and also you can get it from the source code as well so in this progress bar what we need to do we need to set progress drawable and that is circular progress bar this one and also we will need to change the style as well so let me just delete this and this will be style widgets dot app compact so yeah this one app compact dot progress bar dot horizontal select it and yeah so now you can see it is a uh, blank it is not showing anything but if I write progress and if I pass 50 as you can see it is 50% now so yeah but uh, what we'll do I'll just make it invisible so visibility and this will be invisible okay and also in the fragment result we'll add that property here as well so yeah progress drawable circular progress bar and we can copy this style from here so yeah let me just close all so now we can work on the quiz fragment so yeah so yeah first of all we'll implement the reset option method so so we just need to change the colors of our, our buttons and we need to hide the text views so yeah, first we'll hide answer feedback tv so set visibility and this will be invisible and then semicolon then next question button dot set visibility and of course this will be invisible and also we'll disable it so next question button dot set enable this will be false so now we will change the background colors of our button so option one button dot set background and this will be context compact dot get uh, drawable and here we need to pass two parameters so first will be get context and then the color so comma r dot color dot light sky and i will duplicate this two times so this will be option two and this will be option three and okay that's fine so we are calling this method uh, inside the this case when we press the next question button so yeah, if the current question number is equals to total questions means the quiz is finished and then else part if the quiz is not finished we will increment the current question and then we pass the current question number inside the load questions and then we call the method that is reset option so again it will make our answer feedback invisible next question button invisible and it will disable the next question button and also it will change the colors because uh, we will be changing the colors when the uh, button is uh, like when the answer is correct or answer is wrong so yeah we will do that inside the verify answer button so yeah uh, let me just minimize this and let's implement the verify answer method so in here first of all we'll check if can answer is true we'll also have else to it so yeah, if uh, can answer is true uh, we'll again check if answer matches with the okay but for that we'll also need to fetch the answer so 
inside the load question method in here we can get the answer as well okay in here so let's just create one field as the answer and then question models dot get i minus one dot get answer and then same column so let's just create a member variable for it so private string this will be answer let's keep it empty string and let's start and then we can duplicate this one so this will be correct correct answer and sorry this will be wrong answer okay so now inside the verify answer method what we just need to compare the answer with the button text so button dot get text so yeah if these are equal so we we'll use this button and we'll change its color to green so context compact dot get drawable and get context and then r dot color dot dot green so yeah i have added some colors of uh, green and red we can get the hex code so red one is ff000 and green is 00ff00 so yeah and then we'll also increment the correct answer value so correct answer plus plus and then and then we can just set a uh, answer feedback tv as a correct answer so set text this will be correct answer yeah and then in, in the else part for this and then if the answer is not correct then we'll set the button background to red one so context compact dot get drawable get context and r dot color dot or red and then wrong answer will increment the value of wrong answer and then answer feedback dot set text wrong answer and then in the next line we can uh, we can display the correct answer as well so slash n so the correct answer will be let just uh, concatenate it and we can display the answer yeah and that's fine and then actually we don't need the else part here so i'll delete this one and i will make our can answer as a false and then our countdown timer we will cancel it so cancel and also we will display the show next button so yeah so yeah that's pretty much stuff uh, now we just need to implement the submit result button so what we did in the verify answer method we get the button from the on clicked uh, on click method so yeah we we pass the button in here and then we receive it in here then we check if uh, the user can answer so yeah if he can answer then we just check if he clicked on the correct answer button or not so if he clicked on the correct answer then we just set the button color to the green and we increment the correct answer value and then we text uh, we set the text to answer feedback as a correct answer else uh, we just change the button background to red and then we increment the wrong answer and then at the last we set the text to answer feedback as a wrong answer and on the next line correct answer and we concatenate it with the answer and then as soon as this uh, if condition runs then uh, we make our can answer false so the user cannot click on that uh, again another button and then uh, countdown timer we cancel it so of course if the answer is already selected we will uh, cancel the timer and then we call this show next button method means user can click on the next button and he can get another quiz or he can get another quiz question so yeah so now we just need to implement on the submit results method 
so yeah so in here we'll create one hash map of string comma object let's name it as a result map this will be equals to new hash map and then we'll just uh, put some values to it so put and let's name it as a correct comma correct answer now i'll duplicate this this will be wrong and this will be not answered we can make a capital so yeah not answered and this will be wrong answers why i'm pressing enter so yeah So yeah, as we called uh, add results method of view model class, then we have to navigate user from which fragment to result fragment. So for that, now controller dot navigate r dot id dot action which fragment to result fragment. And also one thing, uh, we'll need to make our progress bar visible. So inside the start timer method, our progress bar dot Set visibility and here will pass visible and now we'll try to run the app and let's see it's work, working or not so i have opened the cloud file store of our project and inside this c programming you can see there is only one collection that is questions so our app installed i'll click on the c programming and start quiz so yeah, as you can see the okay so progress bar is not working and we will fix it so let's select a wrong answer so yeah, as you can see wrong answer in the answer feedback tv and the correct answer it reduce code size then again i'll select the current correct uh, answer two or four so as you can see correct answer and timer was also working i don't know why it was not working for the first question but we will fix that so now i'll click on the next question and 
array is it is linear so correct answer and let's select any wrong answer so yeah then outside the function and none of this so yeah we will fix the text view uh, question text view we will add margin to it and it will be fine also we will need to set the question uh, text view as well so yeah this was not answered while select any and we'll have to fix that uh, question number as well so yeah we'll do that and so yeah as you can see the result page popped up and currently we are, we have not set anything here so it will not show anything but our main motive is to get the collection inside the document of c programming so let's just see so as you can see the results uh, collection has been created and inside that we will get the current user id and inside that we will have correct question so 5 not answer 2 and wrong 4 so yeah uh, this is working and rest of the things we will fix in the next part so yeah do subscribe and thank you for watching